Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be taking a look at a software for the Android operating system called DSLR Dashboard. And what this does is it allows you to remotely connect to your DSLR camera. In this case we're using a Canon 550D. Um, and the main thing, you'll need the data cable for your camera. I actually have one with an L bracket. I'm a big proponent for that because I uh, don't like things sticking out of the side of my devices like that so it's much more streamlined to get the L series um, design. The next thing you're going to need for your tablet side is an OTG micro USB host cable. Pick this up off of eBay for three or four dollars. It was cheap. Um, also the elbow design. So this one is specifically for the Nexus 10 which is what I'll be doing the demonstration on um, for this video. So, just wanted to go over a couple of features here real quick. The main purpose of this is to give you a remote viewing platform for your digital camera. So I just plugged my USB cable into the side like that. I take the one side, plug it into my camera, make sure the power is in fact off there. I'm going to use that just to prop it up there. And I've got a little USB device back here just to have something to focus on. So I'm going to exit out of the program here. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the cable, or the second thing I'll do is plug the cable into the side of my Nexus here, and I'm going to turn the camera on. Now, it'll prompt you the first time if you want which program you want to start, and I have it to automatically start this program. So, alright, so you've got a lot of features. This is the uh, camera click, you know, the shutter button, you have an autofocus button, you can tap it and it'll autofocus, or you can hold it. Uh, down and it'll autofocus, um, tags, there's a lot of various functions. Um, I haven't even gotten into the settings yet. The program kind of crashes a little bit, um, but for free, what do you expect? Plus it's, you know, I'm sure it's trial and error. I need to go into the settings and kind of confirm everything as far as my camera goes, but just wanted to show you the remote capabilities of this. So up here there's a little button that says LV, so it's live view. So now there we have it. There's a picture of the flash drive. I'm just going to go ahead and snap a picture. It should do the autofocus. There it goes. And as you can see down here, it does show the preview of the photo that it just took, and then it goes back to the live view. So I'm going to tap and hold autofocus here. And as you see, it's doing its thing. It's focused. Snap a picture. There it goes. All right, so I'm going to break out a live view here. Um, let me give you a little close-up of the actual screen here so you can see kind of what the buttons are and everything. This looks like it has a ton of functionality. you got timer mode and various display modes and stuff like that. Um, auto mode, auto white balance. Um, I would imagine shutter speed down here. It also shows you the battery life, um, various things. Uh, indicators down here also has a full screen mode if you want to go and view the pictures um, you come over here to the little landscape kind of picture thing and then click on the camera and it'll come in and show you and it's actually downloaded that picture from the camera now um, so you can do the preview of it downloading the next image there which was a little bit darker so you can go back and do the review of the pictures and stuff and then build your list as you um, shoot your photos and stuff so anyway um, th simple and quick uh, the main thing is to have the OTG uh, micro USB host cable um, and then install the software there are paid versions of software out there uh, DSLR dash uh, dashboard is a free software and I'm mainly just doing it for testing purposes I wasn't even sure I would be able to do this properly but as you can see it does work and uh, it's a pretty nifty thing to have so now you can actually pick up the tablet get rid of my keyboard here so I can pick up the tablet and you know kind of be hanging out uh, got my camera on the tripod or whatever and then go back into live view here snap a picture so anyway, uh, as simple as that, I just wanted to give you guys a quick brief demonstration. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace.